Chapter 10 I woke in a lukewarm puddle of sunlight at twenty after one. The door between the office and the bookstore was open, and Hunnaker was blathering to someone in the store. He left coffee on the desk and a half-eaten sandwich. It smelled like bacon, and the double aromas sent me leaping out of bed. There was a small bathroom that connects with the office. I did what almost everybody does in the morning, washed my face and paws, and stood squinting in the mirror, inspecting my whiskers. Sue used to tell me that I looked like I was wearing a gray flannel suit, open at the neck, with a white cotton shirt. She approved of the look. Very corporate, she told me. Very dressed for success. I studied my reflection and tried to make a seriously gray flannel face. A face that could talk about sales charts and marketing and mortgages and golf. I held it for a second till it cracked itself up. Then it grew serious all by itself. A dark fleeting shadow had passed across the glass. I turned to the window. The bathroom mirror looks over at the window that overlooks the court. I jumped to the window sill and hated what I saw. Horton F. Meany, moving quickly towards the street. Two seconds later, I was standing in the dumbwaiter, pressing on the B, and a second after that, I was standing in the basement. It was hot there and dark. At the end of the corridor, the laundry room was humming, and Oscar, a street cat, was watching the machines. Oscar thinks looking at a washing machine is like watching TV. His favorite entertainment, he says, is the soaps. Where's Max? I said. Oscar looked up at me and shrugged. Butch asked me too. Where's Butch? I said. No, where's Max? Oscar said. What? I said. Butch didn't ask me, where's Butch? He asked me, where's Max? Oh, I said. Right. I turned from the laundry room and hurried down the hall. Television junkies get water on the brain, and Oscar was the living waterlogged proof. No Max in the office. No Max in the hall. One look at Meanie and I'd thought about Max and what Sue had predicted. Or in other words, pshew. I found myself desperately hoping I was wrong. Then I felt hopeless. Max was in the locker room packing up his stuff. I made a groan in my throat. Max turned and looked at me. Sam, he said softly. His broad face was worried. His eyes were full of shine. Not exactly tears, but not exactly not. I leapt to the easy chair in front of the locker. Max put his big strong arm around my neck. Dasvidanya, he said. Max comes from Russia. He came to New York about six or seven years ago. It must have taken guts. Dasvidanya means goodbye. I be missing you, he whispered, and looked me in the eye. His eyes are very blue. Mine are very yellow. But our eyeballs, in any case spoke the same language. There's something I believe, and you're free to think I'm nuts. But I've always thought the planet was divided into species. Not the physical species, like cats and dogs and horses and hens. I guess what I'm saying is that creatures are divided into species of the soul. And wherever you're going, you can find your own kin. Doesn't matter what their age or the color of their fur, or the shape of their bodies, or the number of their feet. A soul meets a soul, and it knows if it's a brother, and that's the end of that. Little brother, Max said. He sniffed, blew his nose in a clean yellow handkerchief, shoved it into his pocket, and zipped up the duffel bag that rested at his feet. On top of it, I noticed, was a nice framed picture of his wife and three kids. I looked up and saw Butch. He was standing on the window ledge and peering through the screen. The glitter in his eyes was more angry than sad. Meanie, Butch said. 
and the word said it all. Max had his duffel bag slung from his shoulder. He'd picked up his jacket and was about to go. Then he turned and saw Butch. He put everything down again and walked to a cabinet and fished around the shelves. He came out with a large can of nine lives chicken in country gravy, opened it neatly, and placed it on a dish. The last I saw of Max, he was feeding Butch and Jane. <laughs>